Hello everyone. This is a spur of the moment video. Big speculation right now on the social medias of Liam and Noel Gallagher, leaders of the band Oasis, 90s superstars, uh, played their last gig in August of 2009, so 15 years ago that they've been broken up, have been toying with our emotions on the social media that there could be a big announcement happening this Tuesday, August the 27th, 2024, of a potential Oasis reunion. Now, we don't know uh, who would be involved uh, in terms of other band members. All we know is that the Oasis and Gallagher Brothers social media pages have all pointed to August 27th, 2024 as a date to look out for. Um, again, Liam, especially from what I've been reading, I have um, a lot of information here from the LA Times, um, a recent article that came out um, earlier this afternoon. Liam Gallagher has written on X, formerly Twitter. He said, see you down the front. Um, he, always, he also said something um, along the lines of, I never did like the word, never did like that word former. So like, you know, Liam Gallagher, former frontman of Oasis, you know, that's how he was announced for his shows. Uh, that there's a lot, there's a lot. Um, there have been rumors that, um, the, the gig, I mean, that the Oasis band would play, uh, Heaton Park, potentially Wembley Stadium. There was no initial response on Sunday today for any kind of comment from the locations. Although rumor is that dates have been secured for right now an unnamed band for several nights uh, at Wembley Stadium. Um, they've, uh, Oasis has always had speculation regarding their rumors. A lot of times there's whatever teasing there is on social media, it ends up being, you know, a new record, a re-release, a bonus track, uh, you know, a merch, whatever it might be, never a, never a date. Both Liam and Noel have been doing their own thing since 09. Liam has been working with BDI for a few years. Then he's put out several fantastic solo and live records um, with his current band. They're all fantastic. Noel, uh, again, guitarist, <clears throat> older brother, uh, main songwriter for Oasis. He's been working with his solo project, The High Flying Birds, which follows a little bit more of like a mainstream pop sense, even though Liam kind of sticks pretty much to the Oasis formula, which is fantastic. He sounds great. Uh, there was a time where people were worried about his voice um, due to, you know, substance abuse. His voice is pretty much back. Even though he's in his early 50s, he sounds great. So this is the time to do it. The the dates from, again, what we're hearing wouldn't happen until next summer, which would then fall in line with the 30th anniversary of their biggest album, their sophomore release, What's the Story, Morning Glory, which has, you know, the big hits, uh, Wonderwall, Champagne Supernova, Hello, um, She's Electric, some might say all big concert staples. Don't look back in anger. So if they announce this tour as the, uh, what's the story, Morning Glory 30th anniversary, these tickets are going to sell fast. Now, again, I don't know any dates. Again, there's nothing out yet. This is Sunday. This is all speculation. Again, it would just be... Um, 30th anniversary for um, definitely maybe their first album. There's already been, you know, re-releases of that that have come out this year that are coming out. Liam is currently touring under definitely maybe playing the album in its entirety, including singing Noel Gallagher sung tracks, which he's never really done because he doesn't want to give his brother the time of day. And there's also been some loving um, comments and interviews from both Noel and Liam about the other one referring to the talent of the other one where for years and years and years all they would talk about is how the other one is a jerk and how they don't want anything to do with them they're done with that oasis are done all of that stuff but you know they've been again kind of warming up maybe it's age again they're both in their 50s now we're looking at 15 years since the breakup of the band 30 years since their glory days so we i mean i really don't know this is again all speculation um Again, there's a, there's a lot to look at um, in terms of just like the clues uh, online um, that, again, 
for all we know, they could just be announcing a massive, you know, what's the story, Morning Glory box set, and, you know, Liam will tour what's the story, Morning Glory in its entirety. I don't know. Uh... Liam has been touring the last few years with Bonehead, one of the original members of Oasis on uh, rhythm guitar. So if you think about who would be in this lineup of Oasis, I would say at the very least, other than the Gallagher brothers, you'll have Bonehead come back into the fold as well because him and Liam have been on really good terms, um, especially the last several years with him playing on, on tracks, playing live, touring with him. So, you know, that's, that's a, you know, that's a pretty core group right there from Oasis to call themselves Oasis. I would be very happy to, to see that line up. So that's it. Uh, I wish I had more information. I'm excited. I don't, I'm assuming tickets are going to go fast. I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of fast rush to get tickets. I can imagine, uh, I can imagine Ticketmaster or whatever site they use crashing. I can imagine there being a lottery system. I can imagine there being a lot of fees. It's going to be expensive. I, I don't know that it'll come to the U.S. <clears throat> so I am eyeballing a potential trip to the U.K. next year because I don't think I want to miss this. Let me know what y'all think. Am I insane? What clues are you seeing? Again, this is August 25th, about 7 p.m. Eastern time here in the States. I'm open to anything. What are y'all thinking? All right, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.